tweet that was sent out on the Winchester the uh, prequel it shows Jared as the executive producer that was, that was a surprise <laughs> that was who was that was that, uh, that was was Hollywood Hollywood reporter so deadline they they got the they, they just got the yeah. and Winchester's kind of yeah mixed up they they put it in and they don't do a lot of retractions uh, I'm not EP uh, on Winchester's I'm EP on the Walker um, but yeah, it's one of those things where an outlet, man, this is one of the, like, damn internet, you know, like, something gets posted, and then somebody else kind of just assumes something and writes it, and then it reaches a million people, and you're like, no, nah, that's not what the intention was, that's not what anybody said. Millions of people to to look at. So. Well, but it, it, a lot of times, and that you know, this is not to go down this this kind of or this this argument, but uh, a lot of news outlets, regardless of you know entertainment news or, or actual news, um, they're very quick to headline things that are uh, that might get clicks, um, and not a lot of people pay attention to uh, the retractions. Uh, when they're like, oh, we actually got that right, we should probably say, uh, actually, never mind. It's already out there, it's already surfaced, it's already, I mean, in, in a large capacity. And I think we've seen this happen across the board. Uh, with we'll find out, like, hours later, because they're sort of like, hey, they're going to announce this today, and you're like, all right, and then you go to work, or you hang with your family, and then they put out whatever they put out, and then tens or hundreds of thousands or maybe millions of people read it, and you find out eight hours later they read something that wasn't accurate, and you're like, uh, what do I do here? Because I don't want to, like, I, there's no way I can reach everybody with a retraction. Yeah, you know the whole thing, don't believe everything you read on the internet? It, it, it could not be more true. Uh, I read that on the internet. <laughs> Wanting something more. I never wanted this for you boys. This life, not really. We turned out okay. <laughs> you did, didn't you? But that was on you boys. You did that, not me. Oh, you played your part. <laughs> I did my best, anyway. For what it was worth. Hey, where the hell am I? Jaybird's Diner. Yeah, thanks. I mean, uh, city and state. Lawrence, Kansas. Lawrence. Are you okay, buddy? Yeah. Tough night. Hey, uh, coffee here, Reg? John Winchester. Thanks. Dean Van Halen. And thank you. All right, uh, Jensen, will you tell us a little about Chaos Machine and your plans for it? 
so yeah, so Chaos Machine is a production company that uh, that, uh, that my wife and I started uh, under the umbrella of Warner Brothers Television, and they have <clears throat> they have tapped us to bring them some some content, some some TV projects. So uh, we have. We're currently uh, working uh, and developing about five different projects right now. Uh, we have one that that we are taking its final step to uh, delivering to network next this week, actually. Uh, and we'll probably have an idea of when you guys can see that material uh, by the end of this week. Um, hopefully, hopefully it's sooner than later. Um, until then, we're we're just trying to find material that. Uh, we think is fun and exciting, uh, not necessarily, uh, you know, genre specific. Uh, we're kind of across the board. Um, we have a really cool project uh, that I'm excited about with a uh, a supernatural alum. I don't want to give away too much because, like Jared, I don't like to talk about projects until they're like baked, and these are all kind of like in the in the mixing process. Uh, so, uh, we'll just say we've got, we've got some fun things happening. Um, as you know, entertainment industry and, uh, and developing, uh, is, is a, a rocky road, a tough road to navigate, but we've got, uh, we've got really, if we were just individual or independent, it would be even a, a taller, uh, higher hill to climb. But the fact that we've got Warner brothers kind of, um, uh, you know we're one of their players now so that makes it really interesting it makes it really fun that's really what we've been what i've been spending most of my time doing uh here in in mountains of of colorado <laughs> this is the car you want oh yeah you you know something about cars yeah yeah my dad taught me everything i know and this this is a great car 327 four barrel, 275 horses. Little TLC, this thing is cherry. No, man. You're right. Well, what are you buying that thing for? Kind of promised someone I would. Over a 67 Chevy? I mean, come on, this is a car of a lifetime. Trust me, this thing's still gonna be badass when it's 40. Amazing. And I think, so it doesn't say this, um, Winchester, but I know your next question that cut off is, will Jared be in it? And absolutely. Um, I, I will totally roll over, uh, go from stage one to stage three and be on Jensen and D's new show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sure. They got, the, the question got cut off. And wait, just kind wait, of, wait, wait, wait a second. I, ha I have, I have a new development here. <laughs> is there a, is that, there it is. Jared's already there. <laughs> Is that Beachfield? What is that? That looks good. I don't know. It's a it's a beanie. It looks good, man. See, now you now you know. Now that you're it's a toque. It's, it's a toque from all my Canadian brethren. Well, Vancouver misses you, so you're you're telling Vancouver you miss it back. <sighs> oh, we're back, baby. What is this? What does it look like? Is it real? Very. 
Okay, so what? Angels got their hands on some DeLoreans? How did I get here? Time is fluid, Dean. It's not easy, but we can bend it on occasion. We'll bend it back. But tell me what the hell I'm doing here. I told you. You have to stop it. Stop what? Huh? What, is there something nasty after my dad? Oh, come on. What are you, allergic to straight answers, you son of a... Reception on this thing? The USS Enterprise? So, it wasn't really. If I, if I played Sam Winchester for my entire life, I, I, I'd die happy, you know? Um, as long as he had a story to tell, and he does have a story to tell, um, and he's telling that story. And maybe uh, on April 5th, when Jared and Sam say goodbye to each other, Hopefully it's see you later and not goodbye, you know? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Uh. <laughs> um. The show could go for, the show could go for many more years and still be a, a great show. Leaving not only the, the, the fans wanting more, but also us wanting more. Like, I hope this isn't the last time I'll play Sam Winchester. Um. Nothing, nothing ever stays dead supernatural. To all the Espion family out there, thank you so much for uh, taking this journey with us for 15 years. Uh, we love you, and we won't be gone long, I promise. Thanks for watching Wayward Winchester. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Peace.